All right, Coach, let's go ahead and get started with an opening statement following today's 93-80 result against the Storm. Uh, one game down, um, one or by 21, doesn't really matter. We lost the game. Uh, a lot of things didn't go right for us today. We struggled to score, struggled to make shots, um, give their defense some credit. They switched a lot, but at the same time, a lot of those shots we normally have been making uh, would have been a little bit different, tighter ball game. And then I would like to see what happened at that point. But twice in that game, they got very comfortable because we couldn't score and their frustration of not scoring carried over to our defense. Uh, and, and that's what our un, undoing. We can't get frustrated. We have to keep playing our solid defense. Uh, called our way back into the game, but then ran out of gas. Uh, at start that fourth quarter, we came out flat. They came out making shots, and, we, and again, we couldn't score, and we got frustrated again. So uh, that can't happen. This is a best, every series is different, and this is a different basketball team than when we played in the last series. Uh, I think a little bit of fatigue on our part, but overall. I think uh, having seen them play now uh, and they see us play, we're going to go make some adjustments and be ready for game two. Doug Feinberg. Hey, Coach, um, that fourth quarter, I mean, Stewart took over to start the quarter. What could you guys have done differently, if anything? I mean, she was getting shots from three and all over to maybe make sure that doesn't happen again for you guys. More energy. We, we didn't. We came out in the fourth quarter just flat. Uh, we, we worked so hard to get back in that game in the third quarter. I think it took a lot of gas out of us. Uh, we took a breather. You can't take a breather against this team or in the, in the playoffs, in the finals especially. You can't take a breather. So their team's going to spurt. And that's what they did. They spurted. And they're, they're tremendous front runners. When things are going good for them, their shots go in. Uh, and so they started going good for them and just snowballs. Uh, you know, that's, how, that's what their team is all about. Thanks, Coach. Michelle Vopel? Yeah, Bill, just to follow on that, just sort of what you're saying, um, how tough is it when you're not making shots and then how good Sue in particular is in transition? Because that seemed like that was a, a really big key for them, how how well she directs the, their offense in transition. Yeah, in, in the second quarter and fourth quarter, they they found the right combination. Uh, you know, and like I said, we weren't making shots, so it affected our defense. And, and that's that's that can't happen. Uh, I get why it happened today. Uh, you know, I understand it. I understand, you know, a little bit of our fatigue and a little bit of our me more mental fatigue than physical fatigue. Uh, I, I get it. And we, and we got a little frustrated and we just, we just kind of, we just stopped playing uh, the way we need to play. And they have good players and Sue's going to find those players and make the right plays and they're going to make the right shots at the right times. And that's what happened in the game. Thank you. Jason Ortz. With the way that both teams do like to get up and down the floor, is that maybe going to be one of those? Could this be a series where it is just kind of one run after another going back at each other? Maybe. Uh, it remains to be seen. Um, when we play a 40-minute game, I'll let you know. But there's no question that we missed Erica today for energy. Uh, she really could have helped us uh, guard and be uh, get some easy baskets and running the floor and attacking the glass. Uh, so we're going to have to find a solution there to get a little bit more energy off our bench. Got another one, Jason? Yeah, you've talked about it, uh, not making shots, but you know, I think it was 17 for 56 on two pointers. I mean, how difficult is that? And, and especially a lot of times you're getting second rebounds but, or, or second shots, just weren't able to cash them in. Yeah, I mean, Angel yeah. struggled tonight. There's no question about that one. Her shots that normally go in didn't. I know that got her a bit frustrated. It affected her defense, it affected all of our defense. Uh, Angel kept us a bit in the best she could by joining three balls, but we miss a lot of shots, that open shots that we normally can make, and also follow-ups. Uh, we didn't finish some of the follow-ups if we got the offensive rebound. And that just gets frustrating, uh, and that affects us. Danny? Hey, Coach. Um, as someone who has been around the game of basketball uh, for some time uh, and you know has played alongside and against and coached and coached against some of the greatest talent that this game has seen. Uh, what do you make of Brianna Stewart's game tonight, uh, the first player in WNBA history to record 35 and 15 in a finals game? What do you have to say uh, about her performance tonight? I, I thought she played very well. Uh, she made shots after the first quarter. Uh, you know, she we, she got open looks. And, you know, we, we gave her a look because we were a little frustrated and affected our defense. Our defense wasn't there the way we normally play. And they took advantage of it, especially Stewart. 
And once your start, shots start going in, she's a good front runner. She's going to start knocking in a bunch more. And last question, Maria. Hi, coach. Hello. Um, what do you take away from that third quarter? I mean, your team did an incredible run. So what is the key to reproducing that same level of play for the next game? Uh, well, we got to get some rest uh, and just have our more concentration. Uh, this is our, our first game for many in the finals, uh, and it showed. Uh, we got we a little I said the frustration factor. I can't ex express that not the frustration factor of us not making our shots affected the rest of our game, and we're going to have to overcome that. Uh, we may have another game like this, uh, but our defense has to remain constant, and it did not tonight, and that was the, the defining moment of this ball game. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Coach.